World War II was a time of great sacrifice for nations across the globe. As the world plunged into war, one of the most impactful measures on the home front was rationing and bartering. In this video, we're going to talk about 30 essential barter items that everyone should consider stocking up on. These items will prove to be valuable in a survival scenario, whether it's for trading, bartering, or simply for your own use. The top item that you can use for bartering is food. You can trade cans of food, especially meat and poultry, to get other items that you might need for your family. In December of 1941, Japan invaded the Philippines, which is where the United States got almost all of their sugar. To make matters worse, sugar imports from Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands were being impacted by the bombing from German U-boats in the Atlantic Ocean. So the very first item to be rationed in the United States was sugar. And by April of 1942, the United States government had introduced an entire rationing system. Places like hospitals, restaurants, and hotels saw their sugar consumption decrease by half than what it was the previous year in 1941. And then in 1945, the United States government started giving sugar to the allied countries. So by the end of the war, the worldwide sugar supply was so extremely low. So in addition to sugar, you'll want to have some sugar substitutes such as honey or molasses on hand in case you need to substitute sugar for something else. Make perfect bartering items. Early in the war, butter was in short supply. And by Christmas of 1942, there was a serious butter shortage in the United States. And butter continued to be rationed until 1945. As I mentioned in a previous video, which I'll link below, Oil right now is in short supply due to trade export issues from Indonesia, which is one of the largest producers of palm oil. So stocking up on oil that you could use bartering is a really good idea. In a post-apocalyptic society, liquor becomes an unexpectedly valuable barter item for several reasons. First, liquor serves as its own form of currency and it has an inherent value that makes it a universally recognized trade commodity. Secondly, liquor has practical applications beyond consumption for pleasure. It can be used for medicinal purposes as an antiseptic or even as a fuel for makeshift stoves and ovens. Even if you don't currently consume alcohol, it's very wise to stock up on this item. Caffeine lovers won't want to be without their fix and that makes coffee a great item for trading. Tea is cheap and easy to store, so don't forget about this one. 1.3 billion people in the world are currently tobacco users. So even if you're not someone that smokes, these can be highly sought after by others in a crisis. Seasonings are a great barter item because they enhance the flavor of meals and they make bland, flavorless meals so much more enjoyable. Similarly, many people will be looking for fresh herbs to use with their cooking. So if you have a garden, this is a great way to prepare to have bartering items. If there was mass panic or people had to travel long distances to become safe, boots and heavy duty hiking shoes would be a great item to have to be able to trade. In a world where survival depends on adapting to extreme weather conditions, a quality winter coat can be a literal lifesaver. Harsh winters can be deadly, and a warm coat provides vital protection against spite and hypothermia. When resources are scarce, trading winter clothes can be a gesture of goodwill and similarly, items meant for kids such as toys, coats, and clothing can hold unexpected but significant value in the world of bartering. After a collapse of society, many people will need to grind wheat themselves. So wheat grinders that are hand crank will be especially valuable. Other kitchen items like mixers will also be important for cooking at home. If the availability of modern kitchen appliances is limited or non-existent, cast iron pans and pots become invaluable for cooking and food preparation over open fires or improvised stoves. Secondly, cast iron's heat has an even distribution and retention properties that make it ideal for efficient and versatile cooking. It allows the preparation of hearty, nourishing meals which are essential for maintaining health and strength in challenging times. Another benefit of cast iron cookware is that it can be passed down through generations, making it not just practical, but also a valuable heirloom. Garden hoses will be especially important because more people will be gardening in an effort to raise food for their family. This is one thing that you can use to barter with, along with other gardening supplies such as rakes and trowels 
and things to break up the earth. If you have any friends that like to can, sometimes you can trade some of the canning supplies like canning jars, canning lids, and canning rings to them in exchange for some canned goods after they finish canning. You might have to do a little bit extra, but it's a good and trait. another is medication. Consider stockpiling common over-the-counter medications and prescription medications as well if possible. While it is late on the list, it's important. Gasoline and other fuel sources. A lot of people want to barter with this. Light is such a basic human need, and flashlights provide a vital source of illumination in a world where electricity could be scarce or even non-existent. They offer safety and security and the ability to navigate in the darkness. It mitigates the inherent dangers of the unknown. They're versatile tools and serve various purposes beyond simple illumination. They can be used for signaling, self-defense, and even as makeshift weapons if necessary. So they add a lot in terms of value to essential survival tools. Sewing thread and needles are basic tools that enable everyone to repair and maintain their clothing and gear. It extends their usefulness and durability. And in a world where access to new clothing or equipment might be limited, the ability to mend and tailor becomes a valuable skill. And sewing supplies are key to that skill. Sewing items foster self-reliance, reducing dependence on external sources for basic repairs. This self-sufficiency not only enhances personal resilience, but also contributes to the overall sustainability of a small community. When people share sewing materials, that can create bonds of trust and cooperation. When people offer or trade needles and thread, it goes a long way with strengthening social ties. People will be able to mend, adapt, and connect. The last and probably most important item on this list is obviously going to be your skills and time, things that you can do to help other people like plumbing, electrician, being a doctor, any sort of skill that you have will help immensely. You can trade these and barter with them. These 30 barter trade items cover a wide range of needs from basic survival to comfort and trade potential. Remember that while preparing for your own family's needs is essential, being able to help others in your community can also be a vital part of survival. So stock up wisely and stay prepared. Thanks so much for watching this video, and if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and a share. Don't forget to subscribe for more prepping tips. And now there is a link in my bio for my Patreon, which is where we can do an open Discord chat, talk about prepping. I do some live streams over there. It's great, it's only two bucks a month. And if you like this video, make sure to check out this video, which has some really awesome items that you could find at the Dollar Tree. These are perfect for winter survival, and I was really impressed with what I found last time I was there.